Jason Blondell's departure from Treyarch is still something that's very fresh, still sounds very weird to say, and above all is going to take a really long time to actually get over. The big question on everyone's minds now moving forward is what Jason Blundell leaving means for Black Ops 5 zombies. Because with his departure still being so fresh in everyone's minds, you can't help but have a little bit of worry in your mind about what the next zombies game might turn out like. But in this video, I'm going to give you guys all the reassurance you need and look at the negative and positive aspects to what this could mean for the future of zombies. Because it's very easy to get in a frenzied panic that with Jason's departure, zombies is now doomed. To sit back, relax and enjoy this video, be sure to watch the whole thing through. And more importantly, let me know down below your thoughts on what you think will change now going forwards. Because I think the first thing we all need to realise is that Treyarch are not going anywhere. The Treyarch Zombies team has shifted over the years with many new faces, joining and leaving the team and despite that zombies has always been great every single game like jason said in his departure message there is a huge team behind zombies that we never get to see and have integral roles in shaping the direction of each zombies experience and by the sounds of it the creative and talented developers behind the scenes are not going anywhere so at the core zombies shouldn't feel too different and a massive massive thing to consider here is that craig houston the lead lead writer is still at Treyarch and has a huge responsibility in terms of story direction and character development. He has been there since the very beginning of Zombies, writing almost every single Zombies experience we've had. So the quality of the storytelling and the characters and the atmospheres and worlds that are going to be created in the future won't change because they're coming from the same genius brain, or at the very least have a very different idea and story direction to what Jason had but still filtered through and written down by Craig's genius brain. And since Craig is a lead writer, he doesn't have a lot of control over gameplay. And this is something where in different hands, this could actually be a innovative thing that we'll see. And when put into perspective that Jason has left after the end of Black Ops 4 Zombies, the Aether story is over and it's perfect timing for some brand new foundations to be made with zombies, primarily a fresh new perspective and take on zombies. Comparing the two directions, directors we've had before for Triarch Zombies, we had the Jimmy era, where in the creation of the Aether characters, we had a direction with huge gameplay innovations with a medium focus on story. Between World at War, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, you see some ridiculously big innovation in gameplay. Or with Jason's era, with Mob of the Dead and Origins primarily onwards, were very heavy innovations in storytelling and combining that with huge gameplay improvements and innovations such as elemental wonder weapons, more fleshed out story driven easter eggs and gameplay mechanics but after experiencing so many maps created by both jimmy and jason you can really get a feel to know the difference between the two some of you guys may agree or disagree that jason's approach to zombies was very heavy with storyline perhaps to the point where it affected how fun gameplay was on a certain map and as crazy as it sounds some people do feel a bit burnt out by the certain flavor of map that jason would create and then there's a group of people that just fully love Jimmy Zielinski's style of maps and it's fascinating to see such a wide range of opinions and there is no doubt that Jason Blundell is talented and created some of the greatest zombies experiences that we've ever had. But having someone new for a fresh new perspective can have the potential for zombies to go in an amazing new direction. So what comes next? Well the potential for a brand new universe with brand new characters, brand new concepts, brand new gameplay systems and mechanics and of course with a brilliant writing from the talented Craig Houston. And a new direction in Zombies could lead to a lot of innovations just beyond gameplay in terms of systems. We could see entirely new modes be created within the main Zombies experience. We all know full well from Black Ops 2 that Jimmy Zielinski bit way more than he could chew when it came to the ideas he had for both Transit and the Zombies mode as a whole, as there were many other game modes that we've never seen in Zombies, such as meat involving the Zombies meat that we now see in Turned, and a mode called Race, which would pit two teams of four up to kill zombies to collect their souls and open up doors to get from one side of the map to the other the quickest, essentially a bit of a race. 
place. And you can see from there that Jimmy had big ideas for a big sort of party games idea for zombies to not only have that survival and classic mode aspects, but to turn it into something of a more sociable gathering where you don't have to take zombies so seriously. You can enjoy it in a different way. And Jason took that on board and tried to create some different ideas such as rush and gauntlets, but they still don't feel quite the same as what we had in Black Ops 2 with Turned and Grief, which felt like prototype game modes. It didn't feel quite finished. And I'd love to see someone take that on and perhaps innovate that into something even better. It's also fair to say that there could be some potential worries about the sort of attention that zombies will now get when it comes to internal development, because Black Ops 3 Zombies was the first time in the mode's history where it felt like it was getting a much larger support from the studio and Activision with the huge growth and in interest to the mode. It seemed like it had a much bigger budget than ever before, which allowed it to blossom even more so throughout the DLC season, where we had full-fledged in-game cinematics, multiple teaser and storyline video trailers, which were separate from the DLC marketing created just for those that love storyline, tons of post-season updates to the game, and of course the holy grail of DLC, Zombies Chronicles. I'd hate to imagine that because Zombies wasn't received so well in Black Ops 4 that they're going to take a step back in how much attention it gets, because if they manage to hit gold again replicating what they did with Black Ops 3 Zombies, then it could revolutionise Call of Duty Zombies all over again, especially with the fact that this game will be coming out on the next generation of consoles. I'm not certain on this, but I do feel with Jason's direction, it was purely him that decided to create those separate storyline videos that were taking place outside of the DLC marketing. And it was also Jason's idea to take these characters that we've loved for so many years and just transform them into entirely new dimensional characters with phenomenal storylines and layers that we had never had before. And with Jimmy Zelinsky's direction, it makes you wonder if we would have ever gone down that route. Because prior to Jason coming end and taking control of the Aoife storyline and fleshing out those characters, we never would have experienced situations that made us have emotional reactions to those characters. Like who would have thought that back in World at War and Black Ops 1, we were eventually going to see Takio committing seppuku to another version of himself, or Richtofen sacrificing himself in the machine in Blood of the Dead. The partnership between Jason and Craig made some of the most emotional moments in Call of Duty, let alone just inside the zombies mode. And I really hope that doesn't change now that we have a new direction. And being honest, with Craig Houston still at the realms as lead writer, I don't think that is going to change. Now, since this news has broke, I have seen a lot of people suggesting that Lee Ross should take over as director of Treyarch Zombies. And I think if there was any candidate that we know and love well enough already and trust to bring us something great, then I think Lee would be a fantastic choice. Whilst many people aren't big fans of Infinite Warfare Zombies, from a gameplay perspective, it pretty much nailed what Treyarch almost could. Black Ops 3 Zombies gameplay was pretty perfect, but for Infinity Ward's very first Zombies mode, they absolutely killed it. Bear in mind as well that Lee Ross has directed all of Infinite Warfare Zombies and also worked on Extinction. So when it comes to innovation and changes that we could see inside of Zombies, I definitely think he would be a great candidate for that. But this video isn't really talking about who should replace Jason or anything like that. But since Lee already works at Treyarch, and I'm not quite sure on what his role was during Black Ops 4, but a lot of the community say that he was working on Zombies in Blackout, it would only make natural sense for him to be promoted and deal with the full-fledged zombies that we trust him to do so well. And another really interesting question for the future is, what is the future of the Chaos story going to look like? Because whilst Aoife is pretty much ended, there's no doubts about that, Chaos was left on a cliffhanger in Black Ops 4 Zombies, and Craig is still the writer, so by all means that story could definitely continue, but it's interesting because the very concept of the Chaos story being that it's not tied down to anything and there is a ton of different historical elements and eras that they can visit and pretty much manipulate as they want, they can do anything really with it, but 
With the reception of it in Black Ops 4 and with Jason having created this story with Craig and now left, you really do have to question what the future is for it, if we will even see it or if Treyarch will start with a completely brand new story, which I think is probably the best way for them to go. Perhaps introduce Chaos as a second season of DLC? Give this new Zombies an entire year solely focused on one story and then see what happens from there. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to think down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe for more Black Ops 5 Zombies news and rather than you click off this video, why not check out some other videos on your screen right now so you continue on the conversation and have some more Zombies action right to your face. Just click one of them right now and I'll see you in a few moments. Moments.